Mark Anthony Stroman uh, is fighting for his life. He's actually in jail and he faces execution today. Um, I checked reports and he hasn't been executed yet, but he's scheduled to be executed. Uh, and he is on death row because of the fact that he killed two different people after the September 11th attacks. In fact, he might have killed more people, but he hasn't been found guilty of that. Um, and he also shot and injured another individual. He said that he was trying to get justice for the victims of 9-11. He would uh, go out and look for people who looked like uh, they were Muslims, and he would just straight out shoot them. Yeah, of course, the moron shot all the wrong people. Uh, now, there, you couldn't shoot the right people because if you found a Muslim, they didn't do 9-11. They're Americans, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they probably love this country, and that's why they came here, right? Uh, but instead he shot an Indian guy, a Pakistani, uh, shot one guy who was a Hindu. Right. Okay, because he's a moron and he's a hateful idiot who... And he's a self-proclaimed, you know, uh, white supremacist. Uh, yeah. He says that he's a changed man now that he's served some time in jail. Of course, oh. when you're on death row all of a sudden. Uh, you get a little change when you want to get off a of death row. And of course he has supporters that are asking for clemency. They're saying, look, this guy, you know, uh, he was enraged and in a fit of passion. He went out and he did this. I don't care. Look, I'm against the death penalty, so I don't think they should execute him at all. I think that he should s spend the rest of his life in jail, right? Um, but the most fascinating aspect of the story is that the person that he shot but did not uh, kill is fighting for him uh, so he doesn't get killed, so he doesn't get executed. Um, Which God is bless amazing his heart. to me. Uh, I totally disagree. But okay, well, well, I'll get to that in a second. But we got a video. We on. have a video. Um, you're going to see the victim talk about it and basically fight so this man doesn't get executed. In a last ditch effort to stop the execution, Bouillon is suing Governor Rick Perry and other state officials. He says Perry has violated his rights as a crime victim by ignoring requests to meet with Stroman for mediation. If Mark is given a chance to leave, I believe that he will become a spokesperson in raising awareness against hate crimes. There is a lesson of forgiveness, you know, for him to step forward after I tried to take his life. He's trying to save my life. That speaks volumes. In an interview with CBS 11 last week, Stroman said he was a changed man and apologized for the pain he has caused. But Bouillon says he forgave his attacker years ago. All right, good report by CNN there. Um, I, I totally disagree with Bouillon. Uh, obviously, he's a great guy, a much better guy than I am, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. But I don't think he has victims' rights. Uh, the people, uh, he's on death row for killing someone else, okay? Yeah. And I don't think the governor has to listen to every single victim and take their opinion. Uh, we have a, a justice system that uh, determines this. Uh, one of the jurors uh, apparently regrets the decision because they didn't know how Bouillon felt about it, etc. I disagree with that person as well. Uh, you said that it was, they claim it was a fit of passion. Nonsense. He didn't do it on September 11th. He did it many, many days later. Mm -hmm. He still hasn't admitted to the other crimes that they think that he did. Right? Exactly. He wrote a blog about, about how he did it. It's yes. not like they think they did it for other reasons. He basically admitted it, right. but now won't confess it. Oh, hell no. And Bouillon, obviously a really sweet guy with a nice, great heart, but that dude's not going to become a spokesperson for hate crimes and all that stuff if you let him off death row. No way. Now, look, Anna, ultimately I'm with you. I'm against the death penalty in principle and in general simply because... You never know if you have the right person. Right, exactly. Now, in this case, we do know we have the right person, but you can't make a law based on that, mm -hmm. right? So I would say until we can be absolutely sure of all of the death penalties being the right person, within bounds of reason, okay? But we get it so wrong so often that I'm against the death penalty. But I, I'm against it for that reason alone. Mm -hmm. It does not, and this probably makes me a bad person. I don't know if it makes me a bad person, but I, I'm telling you in reality, okay? I'm keeping it real. I, I don't mind that guy being executed at all, mm -hmm. at all. When you look at just that case, uh, should he be executed? I'd push the button in a second. I, th I feel like the death penalty is a very easy out, okay, mm -hmm. for considering the crimes that he's committed. He's killed two different people, for sure. We mm -hmm. know that, right? Um, and I this. want him, to, I want justice, and in my eyes, justice is not administering a drug so they peacefully, you know, fall asleep and die. I, I hear I th you. I see justice as them serving time for the rest of their lives, and it's a constant reminder of what they did. No, I hear you on that, Anna, and it's a good point. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, look at how scared he is. I love that. Okay, I look, I got too much retribution in my heart. I hear you, okay? But I love that he's like, oh no, oh my God. Now, before, when he, when he wasn't on death row, he's blogging it out. Do you know he was bragging about this a year after the trial? 
a year after the trial. He's still talking about, oh, I did the right thing, when the moron already knew that even if he thought he was doing the right thing, he shot the wrong people, and he's still bragging about it. Now, and I don't believe him for a second. He says, oh, when he found out Bouillon was on his side, he cried. No, he didn't. He laughed with his other Aryan nation, some white supremacist, idiot friends, right? And if he gets off a death row, he's gonna laugh and laugh, and he's gonna go lift weights, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Uh, and uh, no, he's scared of dying, and I'm glad. And, uh, and like I said, I, I'm just, I have, maybe I'm not lib enough, maybe I'm not a good enough person, but I, I'd, I'd execute that dude in a second if it was just him. But that's not how you do the laws, okay? You do the laws to apply to everybody. So, in the end, you win. You should get life sentence anyway. But in the end, neither one of us wins because he's probably dead by now. <laughs> That's the truth.